Hello, welcome to jQuery tutorial, chapter 3, jQuery vs JavaScript, brought to you by Ankh Pro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about why should we use jQuery instead of raw JavaScript. So in the last session, we downloaded the jQuery file and let me show you that. Okay, here is my jQuery file. So in this session, what we are going to do is, okay, we are going to make use of the jQuery file and we are going to learn the usage of jQuery versus the raw JavaScript. So to do that, let me jump into Visual Studio and throughout this video series, I am going to use Visual Studio as my IDE. So let me click on the file menu and let me create a new project. So here I'm going to select my template as web application template. Okay, and I'll name the project as demo. Okay, then I'll click OK. And here I'm going to select the empty template and I'm clicking OK again. So it's going to give me a web application and it's an empty web application. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a HTML page to the project. Okay, and within the HTML page, I'm going to write my JavaScript. Okay, there I'm going to show you the difference between the raw JavaScript as well as the jQuery. Okay, let me wait for that. Uh, Visual Studio is creating me a project. It's a web project. Okay, once it is done, let me add a HTML page. Okay, and now let me navigate to the folder and let me copy this jQuery file by the time it creates a project and I've copied it. Let me go back here and let's wait for that. Okay, it has created a project. You can observe very clearly to my right side. Okay, there's a solution explorer and right now what I'll do is I'll paste the jQuery file what I've copied right now okay you can observe I've got my jQuery file and after that what I need to do is I need to add my HTML page so let me add HTML page so I'll name the HTML as HTML page as uh, demo dot HTML so I've selected the HTML template so it's going to create me a HTML page okay in the solution explorer you can observe we will get a HTML page demo.html so here what I'm going to do is first I'm going to add a button so the input type will be the button so let me give the value to the button as click me okay and now what I'll do is let me add ID to this button. I'll tell you why I'm adding ID right now. Button 1 to control this. Now let me remove this part as of now it's not required. Now what we are going to do is to this button, okay, we are going to assign to this button, we are going to assign a click event handler to the button. Okay, in the sense when someone clicks on this button, it should show a pop-up message telling like welcome to jQuery tutorial. How to achieve that? Uh, the event the click event okay so what we are going to do is in this session right now okay I'm going to attach a click event handler to this button so first let me show you how to achieve that click event handler um, to this button to assign to this button with the help of raw JavaScript so what I'll do here within the head section I'll open the script tag okay once I'm done with that script tag okay uh, let me specify the type of script what I'm going to write here it's the typical JavaScript so I'm going to select the text slash JavaScript now what I need to do is I need to attach a click event handler to this button so how can I achieve that it's very simple first I need to go to the window object dot on load In the sense once the window is loaded okay it has to it has to call a function Okay, this is the function it has to call. Once the function is called, what it has to do is it has to identify this button. So how can we identify the button? Here I can identify this input control or button with the help of this ID. So uh, what I need to do is document dot get element by ID. So the ID is button one of the button okay then to this button what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a event listener so the first I'm going to specify like what type of event I'm going to handle it's a click event so I have to specify that okay then 
okay once user clicks this button some function some job has to be done so I'm going to write a function for that okay I'm going to attach a method method for that that is the second parameter I have to pass so uh, let me take the method name as um, handle click okay and this is the function which is going to execute when someone clicks on this button so I have to write a definition for this function so how do I write it it's very simple I have to call again the function the function name is handle button handle click sorry so here what we are going to do is we are going to just push a pop-up message telling like welcome to jQuery tutorial welcome to jQuery tutorial let me end up with semicolon okay now when I do control list now what I need to do is what I've done right now is I'm having a button with the ID button 1 so to this button I'm going to attach a click event handler so how I'm doing that with the help of raw JavaScript first I'm calling the window object so I'm calling the on load once the window is loaded I have to execute this function what is this function going to do this function is going to identify this button and to this button it is going to add an event listener and what type of event listener it is a click event and what happens when someone clicks this function has to get executed what is this function doing this function is just pushing a pop-up message telling like welcome to jQuery tutorial now let me push this page to the browser so I have to click on this Google Chrome you can observe here so what happens is it opens this HTML page in the Chrome browser right now okay once it opens we'll get a button of after getting that button let me click on the button so we'll get output as or we'll get a pop-up message telling like welcome to jQuery tutorial okay this is how we have assigned a click event handler to the button with the help of raw JavaScript okay after this we're going to see how we are going to achieve the same task with the jQuery and we're also going to learn the difference okay like the functionality what we achieved with the JavaScript raw JavaScript as well as jQuery let me expand this okay it takes some time to open okay you can observe very clearly we are getting like demo.html okay I've got the button you can observe very clearly now what should happen is when I click on the button I should get a pop-up message telling like welcome to jQuery tutorial let me do that once I click okay you can observe very clearly I've got a pop-up message telling like welcome to jQuery tutorial okay this is how what we have done is we have attached okay um, a click event handler to this button with the help of raw JavaScript okay I hope you understood this this is very easy okay now let us achieve the same thing okay let us achieve the same thing with the help of jQuery so what I'll do right now is I'll just remove this okay now let before removing it let me show you uh, the code what I've written okay you can observe here JavaScript code to assign a click event handler to the button okay this is the JavaScript code what I wrote to assign a click event handler to the button okay it is around um, eight lines of code now we are going to achieve the same functionality with the help of jQuery okay let me show you the difference after this okay let me go back to my Visual Studio and right now I'll just remove this as of now okay and okay now let me open my solution explorer let me pin it and here you can observe I'm having my jQuery so let me add a reference of jQuery to my web page so let me drag and drop this here so right now I'm having a jQuery reference in my web page so what I'll do here is okay I'll add a script tag so now what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a event handler to this button with the help of jQuery and let me show you how simple it is and how it makes the web developer life easy because it is having the built-in functions okay to do that work so first I need to call the jQuery okay we're getting this as soon as I type jQuery okay we're we getting this intelligence okay this intelligence because of this jQuery file jQuery dot okay jQuery I have to pass the document object to it okay then dot ready okay I have to attach handler here so it's a function 
So let me end up with a semicolon right now. Okay. Now let me explain you this piece of code present here. This is the jQuery function. To the jQuery function, I am passing the document object. Okay. And once I've done with this, what I'm trying to do is I'm calling the ready function. What is this ready function going to do? This ready function is going to check whether the DOM has completely loaded or not, whether the document is completely loaded or not. Once the DOM is completely loaded, it's going to execute this function present here, this part of function. Okay. Now, uh, once my DOM is completely loaded, what I need to do is I need to identify this button. Then I have to call then I have to assign a click event click event handler to this button. So how do I do this? So jQuery is having something called the selectors. So jQuery is going to identify this button with the help of selectors. Okay, here the selector is the ID selector. So again, I have to call the jQuery function. I'm going to tell the jQuery, you identify a control. Okay, you identify a control with the ID button one. So jQuery is going, is going to identify uh, the control with the ID button one so it's going to identify this button okay once it is identified what it has to do is it has to attach a event click event handler so it's having a built-in function called click okay what it does is once it identifies the button it's going to attach this click function to it okay some when someone clicks on that button this click function is going to trigger and it's going to provide the output so within this click function I'm going to write an anonymous function okay what happens when someone clicks on the button that I'm going to write it here in the anonymous function it has to bring a pop-up message telling okay telling uh, welcome to jQuery tutorial okay this is what it has to do when someone clicks on the button so what I've done right now you can observe very clearly I just added my jQuery reference and after that what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to call the jQuery function to the jQuery function I've passed a document object and I'm telling like once the document is completely loaded or the DOM is completely loaded execute this piece of code present here with this handler okay what is this function doing this function is identifying the button with the help of selector that is ID then it is attaching a click function to it so within the click function we have written our anonymous function okay this anonymous function is just going to push a pop-up message telling like welcome to jQuery tutorial okay now let me go and execute this page let me go back to my browser and let me refresh okay and once it refresh what we are going to do is we are going to click on the button okay and now we'll get a pop-up message telling like welcome to jQuery tutorial okay this is what we achieve achieve the same functionality with the help of raw JavaScript as well as jQuery but we have a very much big difference here the difference is suppose if I want to attach a click event okay to the button with the help of JavaScript I need to write this much of code but in jQuery it's very simple I'm going to solve it within three to four lines that's the beauty of jQuery and that's how it's mo it's going to make the life of a web developer very easy okay and you can make out the difference here here we have around here we have around one two three four five six seven eight nine lines of code when I remove the white space it eight, li eight lines of code but here you can observe very clearly we have around uh, four to five lines of code that's it okay this is how you will come to the conclusion or let me come to the conclusion telling like that jQuery is much much better than the raw JavaScript and we have to start using it okay and that's the beauty of jQuery so after learning this let me tell you some of the key points you have to remember like you can observe here this dollar symbol is a shortcut of jQuery so you can observe in my code what I've done is I've, I'm calling this jQuery function instead of every time calling this jQuery function I can specify the dollar symbol also which is the alias of jQuery okay instead of com writing the complete jQuery function uh, calling with the complete name you can specify this dollar sign which represents jQuery itself so now I've saved it let me go back to my browser and let me refresh just to check whether it works or not whether it's correct or not let me click that yeah I'm getting that welcome to jQuery tutorial in the sense okay uh, this dollar is a shortcut for jQuery and I said as I said you in my explanation ready function ensures that DOM is fully loaded okay that's what it's doing here right now uh, what it is going to do is it ensures this ready function which is 
present here this ready function what it does is it ensures whether the document is completely loaded once the document is completely loaded it is going to execute this part of function okay the handler and let me go back to presentation okay now this is very important to observe very carefully all the three of the following syntaxes are equivalent so this is what we have written right now dollar document dot ready and we are going to uh, attach a handler to this ready function and also we can write this part in this manner also what we are doing is we are removing the document object so let me go and check it let me see let me show you that whether we'll get the output if I remove this document object let me do control s let me go back to my browser and let me refresh again okay once it is refreshed let me click on the button and it still works okay but keep in mind this is not recommended to use so uh, we should not use this this second point like uh, dollar within that we have to pass the document then we have to call the ready function but this is not the correct way or not the recommended thing to use it okay and the third part is like instead of specifying this ready and this document directly we can attach the handler to this jQuery function so let me show you that also so what I need to do is I need to remove this part what I'm doing to the jQuery function I'm just handling the handler okay what the function is going to do anonymous function it's just going to print uh, or pu pu push a pop-up message telling like welcome to jQuery tutorial let me go back and let me refresh and let me click on the button and here comes the pop-up message welcome to jQuery tutorial and what we understood is like we can use this syntaxes also okay but the recommended is this first one and we can go with the second one also but the third one is not recommended to use and that's what we learned in this session the power of jQuery versus the raw JavaScript okay I hope you understood and you just tasted the beauty of jQuery and that's for the day. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Ang Pro Training. You can also like our Facebook page visiting this URL. You can also follow us on Twitter. For further reference, refer websites. We are on LinkedIn too. Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.